Oh, hi. Um, didn't see you there. Um, I'm back. Um, with another stout. Uh, the next one of my random number generator. Uh, and today, a bit different number um, from the Hook Northern Double Stout. This one is all the way from Jamaica, Dragon Stout. So, I've now done Red Stripe. This is the only other beer from Jamaica in the book. So, I think I'm completing my first country in the book. There's only two beers, but still, I'm completing a country, which is exciting. Um, you can, I mean, to be fair, you can buy this quite easily uh, in supermarkets these days, so uh, in the UK. So it's not that exciting in terms of uh, getting one from Jamaica, having one gone all the way over here. Um, it's a smaller bottle. This one is a, um, oh, this is, this is random, 284 millilitres. So, you know, the, the bottles over here are often 330 mil or 500 mil. Um, that's a random amount, but it's a cute little bottle. Uh, I really like the design. Um, not quite sure what a dragon has to do with Jamaica, but um, I'll read read up on it in a bit. 7.5%. Uh, uh, it's a strong one. Uh, so, first brewed in 1961, even though this is original Jamaica since 1920. I don't really know what the difference is there. Um, so I'm seeing what this is. Anything about it being called... A, why is it called Dragon? Um, ah, so it's brewed by the same people as Red Stripe. Or was, at some point. Um, doesn't say why it's called Dragon. Um, ah, it's... Okay, so... The company is now 51% owned by Diageo. Who are who were Guinness, so it's now gone out to a wider market than Jamaica. Uh, tasting notes in the glass. This beer appears to be a very dark brown with a slight red tinge and a thin beige head. The aroma of molasses, love molasses, instantly hits the nose, and the palate is overwhelmed with a sweet dark chocolate and caramel flavour. It goes surprisingly well with a good chocolate ice cream. Wow, who knew? So let's give this a go, shall we? Got my glass here. I've got my glass. Uh, 2014 Great British Beer Festival. Uh, that's um, going on at the moment. Let's open this up. Okay. Not much on the nose from the from the bottle itself, but let's go for the pour. Quite fizzy, I must say. Well, it's just out being busy, not bottle condition. It wouldn't make the journey from Jamaica. Although, is this brewed? No, it's still brewed in um in Jamaica, so that's fun. It's not like Red Stripe, which is now brewed here. Um, so as you can tell, it's essentially only uh, it's exactly half a pint, which is exciting. It's not much on the nose at all. Smells of nothing, really. Um, I'm sure it's going to taste far better than it smells, so let's, let's go in. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite a unique flavour. You get um, an instant hit of sweetness, um, and then it kind of goes into chocolate. So you can taste the sort of the molasses. Let's go for that again. Yeah, you get instant hit of the, the molasses, a very, very dark sugar, but then that really rounds off into into chocolate and ca and caramel. It, the, the taste notes are very good, actually. Um, I don't know if it would go well with an ice cream, and I definitely wouldn't. Anyone who likes ice cream floats are wrong. Uh, disagree with me as you want. Just don't mix ice cream with drinks. It's a bad idea. Um, yeah, this is, this is really nice. Um, it's not as nice as the Hook Norton Double Stout, which has been my favourite stout so far. But this one is, it is a really nice beer. It's odd. Um, it's got a really odd uh, set of flavours in there, but quite likeable. Um, it does taste like 7.5%, but the sort of taste of sugar and, and chocolate is quite fun.
yeah, it's um, I will want more than a half. I must say, this the the, the bottle size is appropriate. Um, I think I'd get a headache if I if I drank a whole pint of this because uh, it's really sweet, really, really, really sweet. It would go well with with ice cream on the side, um, but it's uh, an incredibly sweet beer. Uh, still distinctively a stout. Um, it doesn't taste too thick, but it's. I mean, the aftertaste is huge. I've still, no, I've still got a massive aftertaste um, in the back of my throat. Um, I can still sort of taste that kind of caramel and chocolate. Um, this would be a really good winter beer, which is kind of ridiculous because the office is from Jamaica, which uh, you know. I imagine it doesn't get this, you know, I don't know, I've never been to Jamaica, but I imagine it doesn't get as cold as it does in Britain. Uh, but this is a very, very warming. Um, this is a bit like when you have red wine and you can feel it going down your throat. I, it's still warming me. Um, I would be tempted to buy this in the winter um, when I'm having a cold night because uh, it's got a really nice warming effect. I reckon it would be... I reckon it would go well if it was infused with rum, actually. That sounds like an odd thing, but uh, I think it would go quite well with that. Um, but yeah, no, definitely. Um, uh, it passes the litmus test, by the way. Um, 100% better than Doom Bar or Green King IPA. Um, if, I saw, if I saw this on keg, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'd do it on cask. I don't doubt. If I saw it on keg, definitely have a half. Um, wouldn't have a pint, it's too strong. Uh, but it's a really, uh, it's a, I reckon, good beer for the winter. I mean, it's summer here right now when I'm doing this review. Um, uh, yeah, so go out and try it. You can buy it at most UK supermarkets now. It's, you know, affordable. Um, uh, and I'll be back with another review soon. Uh, so like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.